Once the top law enforcement officer in St. Tammany Parish, former Sheriff Jack Strain has found himself on the other side of the law. He is scheduled to stand trial on a number of sex crimes charges starting Monday. Erica Ferrando tells us what to expect. Monday morning in Covington, jury selection will begin in the trial of former longtime St. Tammany Parish Sheriff Jack Strain. The 58 year old was sheriff for 20 years until 2015. He was indicted in 2019 on eight counts of sex crimes involving juveniles. A jury will decide if he's guilty of four counts of aggravated rape, two counts of aggravated incest, one count of indecent behavior with a juvenile and one count of sexual battery. Strain pleaded not guilty to the alleged incidents that happened as far back as 1975 when Strain was a teenager himself. The most recent allegations are from the early 2000s when Strain was serving as sheriff. Attorney and former public defender Ken Barnes spoke with us to offer legal insight to what we should expect from such a high profile case. Currently with trials that are happening, you expect to see a lot of evidence from text messages to video camera cameras to uh, maybe Instagram or Facebook. Uh, these accusations uh, revolve around uh, actions that are supposed to happen uh, many years ago. Uh, so you may not see that as much uh, as far as like technological pieces of evidence, but there should be a number of witnesses coming forth. Strain has been free on bond since his arrest in June 2019 and now faces life in prison if convicted. The trial will take place at the 22nd Judicial Courthouse in Covington under retired Lafouche Parish Judge Bruce Simpson. Every other North Shore judge was recused from the case. The state trial is expected to last up to two weeks, but Strain's time in court won't be over. After this trial, he's set to face trial in federal court this December for charges related to an alleged kickback scheme at a work release program during his time as sheriff. These are two totally separate like instances. Uh, you're dealing with something that is a first, first degree rape and you're dealing with the financial crime. But first in the state trial, jury selection starts Monday, a process that could take the full day. A serious prosecutor and a very serious uh, defense attorney will take as much time as they can. Jury selection will be followed by opening statements, then a number of testimonies from both sides that will last days. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. We'll continue to have extensive coverage of this story. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll take a look at the timeline of the case. And this week, Erica will be on the North Shore in the courtroom throughout the trial to bring us updates.